Welcome back, everyone. Bob Pompiani with you for about the next uh, seven minutes or so before we go on to KDK TV News. Uh, appreciate your calls and your tweets. We have one here from Bob Sassy who says, if Antonio Brown is under contract, does he get paid if he is a no-show or hold on next year? Seems like he holds all the cards. No, he doesn't get paid, Bob. Uh, just like Le'Veon Bell decided to sit out, which, again, to me is a mistake, turning down $14.5 million. I think you're going to see the running back market really dip. You're not going to find the kind of offer the Steelers made to him. I know he was upset with the guaranteed part, but they're not going to cut him after a year or two. He was going to be here for this. He would have made all that money. Um, in this case, uh, with Antonio Brown, he does not hold the cards because he is the one who is under contract. He cannot determine where he goes next. It's all about the Steelers or what they're willing to do. Uh, more tweets here. This is from Mike Thomas who says, Assuming A.B. is gone and with no big free agent acquisitions, is the first pick of the draft an inside linebacker, a cornerback, or a wide receiver? Good question, Mike. I would have to say I still go, you know, if there's a good corner out there, I love corners. This is a game of passing, and if you can get shut down guys, you need them, considering the fact that Steelers have really struggled with some of their picks there recently. Artie Burns has not lived up to what he was supposed to be. Cam Sutton still, okay, third-round pick, but he should be better. Uh, you also have a situation with um, uh, Allen, the fifth-round pick, who hasn't developed as quickly. Senguez Golson didn't even play here. He had three straight years of injury, so they need that. I would be, that would be my pick, although inside linebacker is still very important. Ron Matthews says, what pirate do you think will have a breakout season this year? Hmm. Let me think about that as we go to the lines. I'll give you my answer here shortly here. But line three, it's Jess and Jeanette. Hey, Jess, how are you? Hey, Bob, how you doing? Good. Thanks. Hey, I was just taking you out. I think all of us in, in an ideal world would want to have A.B. on our team. I mean, yeah, for none what of the, he brings, absolutely. None of the drama, none of the drama. I mean, as a player, like none of us want to see him go. Right. I mean, as a player. But he's, he's so, become much more than that. Right. Well, it, it has it had an impact. Now, the only ones who hold the cards to really see how that plays out is the Pittsburgh Steelers, their organization. We can talk about what we're talking about. And if A.B. shows up for the Steelers in training camp and has a different head on his shoulders, then maybe things are different. I mean, and then every all this is just conjecture. Someone should have grabbed A.B. and somebody in the Steelers organization, when these young kids come out of college into the pros, they need to have a mentor, period. They need to watch them and how they're developing well, as a okay, person. Okay, let me, let me tell you this. They do have a staff of people who do their very best to try to make young players aware of some of the pitfalls, some of the problems, and all the things you should be looking out for. They do their due diligence on there. I've seen some of those meetings. So it's a matter of listening to them. It's also a matter of, I think, making sure that some of the people who are hanging on to you, as, you know, they, throughout the course of your life, and they still want to live off your existence, you got to be willing to say, look, i got to move on here, guys. Uh, I still want to be friends, but you can't be part of me, and I'm not going to pay for you. And I think a lot of guys do that. Michael Vick admitted that when he came to Pittsburgh. He said he had to shed right. uh, you know, his past just to get away from it. It was driving him in a bad direction, which resulted in Right. Change. Well, well from, from one Steeler fan to A.B., if I wanted to say, dude, get your shit together and stay back on the Steelers team. Right, we we would embrace you, but just he has to just behave different. That's all. His behavior off the field. Yeah. That's that's well, the whole. That's the whole. That's, that's the whole all on him. And, and, and I don't know. I, I still think the question. Thanks for the call. Will be is this reconcilable or not? I don't think it is. But if they're going to try to make it work, if they can't get what they want in return, I don't think they're going to just discard him. And with regard to Ron Matthews, pirate breakout season. Listen, uh, that's a tough one uh, because I you know I don't know how, who's going to be the shortstop. I would say to you, my guess would be. Adam Frazier as an everyday second baseman. That might be going on on a limb because I don't know if he's ever been in that position, but I, I like his bat. I like what he can do. He's a gamer. I'll look for him to be my man. We'll take a break. Right after this, we'll come back on the Nightly Sports Call.